All right, so today we're going to be building the automation for daily scheduling. So scheduling your to-do list for the day, essentially the idea is to grab a bunch of tasks from a database of tasks that you have to do, and then you know, filter them according to some parameters and create a tailored schedule for that day and the tasks that you have to do. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, but uh, I was cheering for a friend of mine who went to fight in an MMA event and now I lost my voice. So it is what it is. So let's get started. So for the first task of automating daily scheduling, we're going to be based on this idea of a task database where I have a task database composed of a task, a type, like content creation, personal work, learning, etc. And then an effort, which is an estimation of the number of hours that takes to complete a task. Then a date, which is a deadline for the task, if the task has a deadline. Finally, the task, the database will also have a priority column indicating the level of importance of the task, where one means very low priority and five means high priority. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. So first things first, we're going to import our dependencies. So we're going to be importing OpenAI to access the ChatGPT API. Then we're going to have a few other imports to handle some processing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to first define the get response function to access the ChatGPT API. So here we're essentially just using the OpenAI API and then the check completion class and the create method to access. In this case, we're going to be accessing uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo, but I actually want to test with both models to see which one works the best. Then we're going to set up the message for the system. And in this case, I'm um, just saying you're a helpful research and programming assistant. And then I will send the prompt question, which will be fed to the function as an argument. Then I'm going to return the response of the model. So pretty boilerplate. Then I'm going to set up the OpenAI API key. Then I'm going to read a CSV file with a database that I exported from Notion. So essentially I'm exporting this database to a CSV file. Then I unzip it and save it to a file called test.csv. Finally, I'm going to get today's date, which I'm going to be using to feed the model with the information of which day is today so that it can do proper scheduling of the tasks according to the day. And then I'm going to transform that task to a string because here, this is an interesting part. I'm not going to be using link chain or I'm not going to be vectorizing the task database. I want to do something a little bit simpler. And so I'm just going to feed the string because the string is not going to be that grip that big with this amount of information because I don't want to do like a super planning of like a month. I just want to do like a basic daily planning of scheduling some tasks. Finally, we're going to define our prompt. Now here is where it gets interesting. So the prompt is going to be, consider that today is someday X, then write a task schedule for tomorrow. Consider the following. Effort column represents projection of hours to complete the task. The goal should be to focus more on work and content creation, but do other tasks if there is time respect the priority levels and make this schedule as optimized as possible. Tasks with deadlines should be performed before or at the day of the deadline and the output format should be start time, end time, task and the task database is this. So essentially I give as much context as I can to the model and then I print the result to the terminal and that's pretty much it. I also want to save it as a schedule. So let's just save it as daily schedule.txt I'm going to SF and then oh, and now we're going to say f dot right and then I'm going to say uh, we're going to save this as output of the model so I'll put output schedule is equal to this and then we're going to print it and we're also going to write a file beautiful and that's pretty much it. So let's give it a test run to this version of the automation. Automating the schedule. Let's take a look. All right, cool. So we got our response back. So let's take a look. Let's save this. Actually, I'm going to rename this as daily schedule GP3 uh, 3.5 Turbo. So this is the output that I got. So 9 to 10.30, finish remaining minor tasks for work. Okay, that makes sense. This is a work task. Okay. 12 to 1, say your health metrics. Okay. Okay. And then to 5, organized top worth. Yeah. They had all sorts of tasks in that database. Know that the priority levels have been considered and all the tasks have been scheduled. Okay. So this looks pretty good. But now what I would like to do is compare that to using GPT-4. So I'm going to save the same thing and I'm going to say 
with GPT-4 and I'm going to run this again. So I'm going to save this and run it again. Let's take a look to see what it looks like. All right, perfect. So we got a response and this is actually looking pretty good. So we have this format that I asked for. The only thing the model got it wrong was the date, but that's my mistake because I fed it in the wrong format. Yeah, I should have said month, should have said month, day, year. That's fine. We can assess the output, record a short Monday, Tuesday video, and then there's some learning tasks. Okay. I mean, the model is assuming that I'm going to be working from 8 a.m. to 10 o'clock, but it's okay. And now we can take a look at both schedules side by side. So one thing that I noticed, I like the conciseness, the con how concise the output from GPT-4 is. So I like that. Um, I feel like in terms of, for example, work presentation is a one hour task. And here GPT-4 said that it would take two hours while Let's see. Well, this was a task that actually GPT 3.5 didn't even consider. Now, one thing I didn't like was that the um, priorities don't seem to be that straight because the most important task was, uh, the most important task was here. Exactly. So there was this one that was a big task which was to do some modifications on an API thing that I have to do for work. And then finishing build changes, then finishing remaining minor tasks. It's okay. I mean, the, the fact that I had an effort of 12 hours for the big task makes sense that it would not schedule when I don't have the time to complete it. So I would say that this is a pretty cool application of ChatGPT and using the API. I think that one of the ideas that I had was to connect this with Notion. And I bet that you can do that with Zapier and stuff, but uh, I can also do it with Python code, which is great because then you can have this running and then you just, you know, create a schedule for the day and you just go through the day and you don't have to think about it. So this is a pretty good example of an application using ChatGPT. That's it. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.